Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. Got an exciting new product announcement from Surefire. I'm with my buddy Andrew. You guys have seen him before at SHOT Show, this handsome man right here to my left immediately. We're in the middle of gosh darn nowhere. Yep. Uh, before we talk about the product, Andrew, tell us where we are and what we're doing. Yeah, man, we're out in North Carolina at Oak Grove Technologies, which is a phenomenal training facility, sim shoot house, two square ranges, a whole lot of cool stuff going on. Um, but we're here for the Back to the Bills event, which is a little media event where we invite some of our friends out to get some training in, have some fun, and see some new products. So uh, we'll, we'll be doing some uh, vehicle takedown stuff with Bill Blowers. We'll be doing some concealment, some combative stuff with Bill ben Rapier. Um, and then we'll be, we'll be doing some CQB as well. And all of it's going to have some force on force components, so it should be a lot of fun. And we're going to be doing some shooting mm -hmm. with your I should have done see if I were a better host I would have concealed it a little bit your yeah, reveal <laughs> we should with have little product. red curtains yeah yeah with the the new surefire subcompact yeah. light that you guys have please tell everybody about it yeah uh, man. break us down so this is the XSC. Um, XSC is a family first and foremost uh, there's three models for the most you know uh, popular uh, micro compact pistols as you probably know every one of them has a proprietary rail mm -hmm. so unfortunately there's a specific model for each and that's going to be the sig p365 this is the xl and the regular 365 mm -hmm. it fits both um, we also have models for the new glock 48 and 43 mos railed versions mm -hmm. that have just launched um, which just are super today, super yeah. Op yeah super awesome and then uh, a hellcat version as well for the springfield hellcat which has been super popular um, so each one of those models is, is specific to its own firearm. Uh, but essentially what you have is a, is a micro weapon light, mm -hmm. very, very concealable, um, super narrow, you know, super compact. It's rechargeable. Um, so you have a battery cartridge that you can remove. You just pull that tab and you push up just like this and then you can pop it out. Oh, cool. um, and there's also a little LED. If you push the button, it tells you what the battery is at. So if you see here, it's giving oh, yeah, me three yeah, dots. Yeah, of... kind of like your laptop. Exactly. Like, okay, so. Just a simple little read. So yeah. the easiest way that I've found is if you put your hand, your, your support, your left hand underneath uh -huh. and push up on the battery and then use your right hand thumb to push forward on that tab and then now push up with your, there you there go. There we go, that easy. God, yeah, this man. thing's lightweight. So yeah. the, the point of it is, the original design actually was a charge in place. Um, however, if you actually train with your firearm, if you take a low light class, you know, these tiny, tiny little lights, they don't have a whole lot of runtime. Runtime on this mm -hmm. thing is about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. For concealability, that should be plenty. Right. However, if you're training, if you're taking a low light class, you're going to need to hot swap batteries on a regular basis, just like you do with a camera. Cool. So you can have, we have a dual bay charger, which I can produce, I think, yeah, out, produce of, it. out yeah. of my pocket. So there's a dual bay, I, there's, a, there's a cord in my pocket as well, but you know, it's a- Micro USB. Cord, yep. And then yeah. it's a dual bay charger for two of those batteries. Uh -huh. So you can have these things charging, be training, and then when it's time to hot swap, boom, put on the next battery and keep, keep training. And it's important to get actual training with your concealment gun. A lot of people like to shoot their full-size guns, but they don't carry them every sure. day. And that's the, that's the purpose of this light. You know, the best weapon light in the world, the X300, is no good if you don't carry it with you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> so that's what, that's what the point that's of this is. That's what this is about. Yep. And you don't have to take it off to change the batteries. You yep. don't have to screw around with it. Uh, I think that's brilliant. I really like that concept. How many batteries do I get whenever I purchase one of these? It comes with one battery. Do I get the charger as well? Yes, you do get the charger. Mm -hmm. And then every additional battery is about 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so not too bad. It's not yeah. too bad, not too bad. 350 lumens, I should have mentioned that mm -hmm. first when talking about flashlights, everyone, that's, that's okay. the first question they ask. Not a whole lot. It's super compact though. It's meant for concealment distances and it's a parabolic reflector. So different from our XC series in the past, which was Max Vision, not a ton of candela. This reflector has a really good hot spot and actually gets you some distance. So you get a lot of mileage out of that 350 lumens. Mm -hmm. Activation, so if you shoot thumbs forward, it's got a little shelf on the top, if you'll notice. So you kind of oh, yeah. just push down on that. Um, however, if you want to go one-handed activation, you can just kind of push forward on the toggle. And if you tap it quickly, it'll go to constant on. If you just hold it momentarily, it'll work momentarily. Cool. So it takes a little bit of practice, but somewhat intuitive and easy to learn. Yeah, man, so this is the XSC. We're super stoked on this. Uh, obviously, with these new micro compact pistols, like the 365, the 4843, the Hellcat, you have a ton of capacity mm -hmm. in a very, very small 
platform. You now you also have these red dots, you know, that are yeah, getting sure. smaller and better. And then now you have a weapon light. So you kind of have like a mini duty grade right. weapon, all the capability, and it's completely concealable. Sure. And I love that. You guys know I love that. This is really exciting to me. I actually, I've got a couple of weapon lights. I almost never use them. And the main reason being, it's like they're not really all that concealable. Yep. This is in a small package and it's from Surefire. So I'm assuming that it's going to be pretty damn durable. Yep. And while we're on that subject, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> so that's a good that's point. Re- Two ninety nine MSRP. Yeah. So same as an so X three hundred. Woo, woo three hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah, and that's MSRP. Mm-hmm. Street price, you know, dealers and whatnot, sure. online retailers. You're probably going to find it a little bit less than that. Sure. And this is not intended to be a softball question. Why would I spend three hundred bucks on this when yep. I can get something else, like from yep. one of your competitors, that's like half as much? Why, why would I do that? Yeah, so you hit the nail on the head with the first comment, which is durability. Um, That's what we build our reputation on. We've been around for 40 years. Um, We have tons of military contracts, law enforcement contracts, the world over. Uh, And we pride ourselves in not building to a price point. Mm -hmm. We build the best possible products that we can. And that's kind of the ethos uh, of our president and down. You know what I mean? Mm So it's never built to a price point. We just build products as as, as good as we can. They have a lifetime warranty. um, And when you buy a product of ours, you know you can rely on it. And for our customers, a lot of them are professionals and you know, civilians that carry a gun on a daily basis and we want to protect their family. And when they want to use that, they need to be able to, you know, rely on it and trust that it's going to work when they need it. And that's the whole point. Have you guys done any durability testing with these? Oh, absolutely. Do you have any, yeah, do you, do you have any numbers you can throw at us or at least some anecdotes? Like how, how well are these holding up in your testing? Yeah, so, I mean, we've done standard drop testing and high round count tests on all the the platforms that they're being mounted to, uh, and they're super, super durable. I don't have any specific, like, crazy, you know, we dropped it off a 50-story building uh, stories for you, but that's a good idea. Maybe we'll we'll do a little video about something like that. Yeah, and we are going to be shooting these things uh, quite a bit, I imagine, out here. Yep. You've got, of course, because of these proprietary rails and everything, uh, it's like the uh, the screw-tight attachment. What do you call that? What would I call this? Yeah, so that, that it's just a screw to tighten the retention on that, and that'll uh-huh. loosen the other side, the clamp on the other side. Mm-hmm. So this will hinge outwards mm-hmm. when you loosen that screw. Mm-hmm. And then when you tighten it, it pinches down. Are there any concerns with over-tightening? Because these are all for polymer frame guns, and I know that some weapon lights, whenever you put them on a polymer frame gun, if you over-tighten, yep. you can actually affect the slide travel. Yeah, that used to be a big problem, and you're 100% right. The screw usually dictates how tight you get it. Um, and what I mean by that is usually screws will break, um, at a, at a, at a, at the, the, the strength rating they're rated for. So for this, honestly, when you tighten it down, when you get to full, you know, you'll know it's spinning easy, it's spinning easy, and then it starts to bite. Mm-hmm. Once it starts to bite, you go a quarter turn and you're good. Not, mm-hmm. not, no further than that. Don't monkey, gorilla, keep going, and that's how you end up with a, mm-hmm. with a broken screw. These screw slots, and not just these, on many other weapon lights, this is a common thing we see, people break the screws by over tightening. Mm-hmm. The reason is these screw slots are really gigantic. Most screws, have a slot or a size based on the torque spec. You ever notice that the Allen wrenches get smaller, Mm -hmm. it's so you can't apply too much torque. Mm -hmm. This can take a really big screwdriver, meaning you can apply a lot of torque to it and (laughs) and, and break the screw. The reason the slots are big is for field tightening if you need to, but just something to be cognizant of. um, Generally speaking, get it to be tight and then go a quarter turn past that, no more, and you'll you'll be good. Are, Are these going to be potentially coming? to other uh, platforms? Are you looking at maybe doing them for uh, maybe the larger subcompacts or are you kind of hitting these three and we're just gonna see what happens? We're gonna see what happens after these three. So right now, just on the agenda are these three. We have a couple other products like uh, our XR1 and XR2. A lot of people have been asking about those. We showed those at SHOT. Those are still coming Mm -hmm. and those will be for the, the larger guns that people can see conceal like Glock 19s and whatnot, the standard size rail, but still a, a really low profile package for concealment. Um, however, for, for the more subcompact or micro compact guns, these are the first three offerings. And right now that's all that's on the agenda. Big issue for me, Andrew, anytime something like this comes out, it screws up the profile of my gun. There are no holsters out for this. So if I, I buy this right now, I guess my only option is to just bareback it, right? <laughs> no, that's not true. So Off The Grid Concepts has holsters already. Um, several other Kydex companies in the industry, we've sent out pre-samples to, to get holsters spun up uh, for the launch. So there will be support from the holster community and you'll have many options as far as carrying. Andrew, thanks a ton for having us. Thanks for agreeing to be on our crappy little YouTube channel here and introduce <laughs> your new product, which I am 
genuinely excited about. I'm not really a big light guy, but this really, it addresses the concerns that I have with yep. weapon lights. And that is, I feel like I could carry this. How much does it weigh? This weighs like almost nothing. That's a good question. I don't know off the top of my head, but honestly, it's probably no more than a couple ounces yeah. at, at best. I think it's probably in the, in the two to three ounce range. Yeah, incredibly lightweight. So I'm surprised to find out how durable it is. We're yep. going to be shooting it and yep. I will bring you guys my impressions as we go on through the week. When can we buy them? September 8th. September 8th, they're going to be on the shelves. Yep. yep. Okay. Awesome. Andrew, thanks again. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more TFB TV.